Welcome to our TV briefing show, where we're diving into a mix of innovative initiatives, heartwarming tales, and the end of an era in television comedy. Let's get into the stories that are making headlines today. First up, Thailand is making waves in the tourism sector with a bold proposal to launch a joint visa program with five other nations. Imagine hopping from the bustling streets of Bangkok to the serene landscapes of Laos without the visa hassle. This move isn't just about numbers, it's about enhancing the travel experience and boosting the economy by attracting affluent travelers. It's a part of a grand plan to transform Thailand into a premier aviation and logistics hub. Talk about setting the bar high for tourism innovation. Switching gears to a story that warms the heart, the Arafura Dance Association from the remote Australian mining town of Nullumboy is dreaming big, Disneyland big. Despite facing financial and logistical challenges, the community spirit is unbreakable. Through weekend fundraising marathons, they're inching closer to making their dream of performing at Disneyland and Universal Studios a reality. It's a testament to the power of community and the lengths people will go to support each other's dreams. And in the world of comedy, we bid farewell to the cringeworthy yet hilariously relatable moments of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Larry David has given us gems like The Doll and The Carpool Lane, blending humor with unexpected depth. As we celebrate the show's legacy, it's clear that Curb Your Enthusiasm has left an indelible mark on the landscape of television comedy. From Thailand's ambitious tourism initiative and a small Australian town's big dreams to the comedic genius of Larry David, today's stories highlight the diverse tapestry of human ambition, creativity, and resilience. Please stay tuned for detailed coverage on these stories and more. In a bold move to attract affluent travelers and boost its economy, Thailand, as reported by Bloomberg, has spearheaded an innovative initiative by proposing a joint visa program involving five other nations, Cambodia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, and Vietnam. This ambitious proposal aims at simplifying the travel process across these countries, which collectively welcomed a staggering 70 million tourists in 2023. This initiative is not just about increasing the number of visitors but also about elevating the quality of tourism, with a focus on enhancing revenue per tourist. This strategy is part of Thai Prime Minister Shretha Thavison's broader vision to transform Thailand into a premier aviation and logistics hub, showcasing the country's proactive approach to overcoming economic challenges like sluggish exports. Meanwhile, in a heartwarming story of determination and community spirit from the remote Australian mining town of Nullumboy, ABC highlights the efforts of the Arafura Dance Association. This group of dedicated young dancers is dreaming big, aiming for a once-in-a-lifetime performance opportunity at Disneyland and Universal Studios. Despite the logistical and financial hurdles, including the recent job losses at the town's major mine which saw some families withdrawing from the trip, the community is rallying together. Through tireless weekend fundraising activities, they hope to make this dream a reality, demonstrating the power of community support and the lengths to which it can help achieve seemingly impossible goals. Adding a touch of humor to our narrative, ABC also delves into the end of an era with the conclusion of the cult sitcom, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Created by Larry David, this show has been a treasure trove of cringeworthy, yet hilariously relatable moments. Among the episodes celebrated for their comedic genius are Ben's birthday party, where Larry David's dance rehearsal antics and Ben Stiller's portrayal of himself stand out, and Crazy Eyes Killa, which features a memorable feud with a hardcore rapper. Not to be overlooked, the doll episode showcases Larry's desperate attempt to fix a rare doll's haircut, while the carpool lane episode not only delivers laughs but also had a profound real-world impact by helping to exonerate a falsely accused individual. Lastly, Lewis Needs a Kidney humorously explores Larry's reluctance to donate a kidney to Richard Lewis, further cementing the show's legacy of blending humor with unexpected depth. Through these stories, from Thailand's innovative tourism strategy and a small Australian town's big dreams to the comedic legacy of Curb Your Enthusiasm, we see a tapestry of human ambition, creativity, and resilience. Each narrative, whether focused on economic development, community effort, or entertainment, highlights the diverse ways in which people strive to overcome challenges, pursue dreams, and create memorable moments. In a gripping tale that seems straight out of a Hollywood drama, the Australian media landscape finds itself under intense scrutiny over allegations that have both shocked and captivated the nation. CNN reports a reopened defamation case that has thrown a spotlight on the practices of checkbook journalism, where sex, drugs, and hefty sums of money are allegedly used to sway stories. A former producer accused Network 7 of agreeing to pay 200,000 Australian dollars, $132,000, to the subject of an interview, alongside arranging cocaine and prostitutes for him. This case, centered around Bruce Lerman, who was accused and then acquitted of raping former government staffer Brittany Higgins due to juror misconduct, 
has revealed the lengths to which media outlets will go, with two other media outlets settling similar claims for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Meanwhile, in a stark contrast to the media scandal, the Sydney Morning Herald highlights the phenomenal success of the cowboy show Yellowstone and its creator, Taylor Sheridan. This drama, starring Kevin Costner, has not only become the most-watched TV show in the US but has also turned into a veritable money machine. With season 4 pulling in more than 12 million viewers and season 5's premiere attracting 16 million, Sheridan's influence in Hollywood has skyrocketed. The success of Yellowstone has spawned a series of prequels and spin-offs, such as 1883, Lawmen, Base Reeves, and 6666, with Paramount spending an estimated $500 million a year on Sheridan's shows. This empire has expanded beyond the screen, with branded products ranging from clothing to cologne, demonstrating the immense cultural impact of the series. However, not all news from the Yellowstone universe is of success and expansion. The Independent reports a tragic turn of events with the death of Cole Brings Plenty, an actor from the Yellowstone spin-off, 1923. Found dead in Woodland following an alleged domestic incident, the 27-year-old sudden demise has cast a shadow over the franchise. The police confirmed his body was discovered in Lawrence, Kansas, after he was reported missing, leaving fans and colleagues in mourning over the loss of a promising talent. These stories, though vastly different in their nature, underscore the complex tapestry of the entertainment and media industries. From the dark alleys of checkbook journalism in Australia, where ethics seem to be compromised for sensational stories, to the glittering success of a TV show that has captured the hearts of millions across the globe, and finally to the personal tragedies that remind us of the human element behind the screen, each narrative adds a layer to our understanding of the power, pitfalls, and sometimes, the pain that comes with the territory. In the thrilling world of NCAA basketball, the Final Four is setting the stage for some electrifying showdowns, as reported by Yahoo US. Purdue and UConn, the tournament's remaining number one seeds, are gearing up for intense battles against their formidable opponents, NC State and Alabama, respectively. Purdue, boasting an undefeated record, is ready to face an NC State team that's been on fire, winning four consecutive games after starting from the first four. On the other hand, Alabama has been turning heads with their dominant performance, winning their games by an impressive average of 16.5 points. Meanwhile, UConn, the defending champion, has been showcasing their prowess, securing victories with an average of 10.5 points per game. The anticipation is palpable as fans eagerly await to see which teams will emerge victorious and advance to the championship game. Switching gears to the women's NCAA tournament, Yahoo US highlights the upcoming championship game between Iowa and South Carolina. Scheduled for Sunday, April 7, on ABC, this clash of number one seeds promises to be a thrilling encounter, with South Carolina entering as the favored team. As the women's and men's NCAA tournaments draw to their climactic conclusions, fans can catch all the action through various live TV streaming services, ensuring they don't miss a moment of the excitement. Away from the basketball courts, the Sydney Morning Herald provides an insight into the life of Kirsten Dunst, who stars in the new film Civil War. Dunst shares her journey of balancing her acting career with family life, emphasizing the importance of maintaining boundaries to ensure her children have a normal upbringing. She also reflects on the political undertones of civil war, viewing it as a cautionary tale about the importance of truth and humanity. Dunst's career has been shaped by strong female role models and the challenges of growing up in the spotlight. Now, with her latest projects, she's proud to be seen as a respected industry figure and a role model for younger actors. Dunst's personal life, including her relationship with actor Jesse Plemons, adds another layer to her story. The couple's creative collaboration in Civil War highlights their chemistry, both on and off the screen. Dunst praises Plemons' acting skills and discusses the physical and emotional demands of her role, particularly portraying her character's post-traumatic stress disorder. She admires the courage of photojournalists, whose experiences inspired her character in the film. Set for release on April 11, Civil War promises to showcase Dunst's growth as an actor and her dedication to telling impactful stories. As the sports world buzzes with the anticipation of the NCAA tournament finals and the entertainment industry awaits the release of Civil War, fans across both spectrums are in for a treat. Whether cheering on their favorite teams or diving into the depths of a dystopian future with Kirsten Dunst, there's no shortage of excitement and inspiration to be found. Sean Diddy Combs shares bold video amid sexual misconduct claims, bad boy for life. In a move that screams defiance, rapper Sean Diddy Combs has taken to social media to share a throwback video from 1998, showcasing himself in a nearly seven-minute chase with the Los Angeles police.
This bold gesture surfaces as Combs is entangled in controversy, facing five lawsuits that accuse him of sexual misconduct. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.